In this video, we're going to learn how to make a movie poster, which is to take uh, two of your uh, images, usually images uh, of like a sunset and then a couple or something like, like that, works quite well. And we're going to blend it in together to make it look like it's kind of like a Hollywood movie poster. So here's our, our image. Here's one of them. We want to blend this in with uh, this image here. So what we need to do is bring the two images together, first of all. So you want to decide which way you want to do this. If you want to bring in... Um, you know, if you want to have this image here as the top image or the bottom image, because you're going to blend one image into another. So I think this one works quite well for it being at the bottom. So what we need to do here is just um, bring up our layers, double click on the background layer here to transform it into a regular layer. And then we just need to um, accommodate more space for the other image to go on top. So we need to go into image, canvas size, and then just go into our height here change the uh, selector here to percentage and add, well, add 100%, move our image down to the bottom. So we're adding 100% of height to the top of the image and we'll have twice as much space here to play with. This will probably be too much, but, uh, you know, you, it's better to have too much than too little. We can always crop it once we brought in our other image. So we go into our other image, do a Control A to copy, select all, Control C to copy, and then we bring in, uh, you know, get our other image here and then paste it. So that's Control and V to paste. So there we are. Now what you can do here is uh, you can resize the image if you need to, or you can leave it as it is and reposition it. I think it actually works quite well as it is here. So I'm just going to position the image to where I want it to be. Um, of course, you can imagine that you're going to be blending in some of the image. So some of this is going to be lost, but you can place it anywhere you want within the you know the position of these two images so I think I'm going to leave it at around here I think that works quite well and then we also want to find out what our limitations are for the two images depending on what images you have maybe there isn't a lot at the top here to show for so um, a, a one quick way to find out the delineation where one image begins and the other one ends so you know how much space you have to uh, add a gradient is to just go into window uh, actually go into view and view your rulers and now we're going to go ahead and control and click on our top layer here so that we see where this begins and where this ends and we're going to bring down here a guide which is by clicking and dragging from the ruler bringing a guide marking where this image ends okay now we're going to do the same thing for the bottom image here we're going to control and click and see that it begins right there at the top so we have there like so so now we know that we have this much space to play with to blend our images together we don't have to use all of it of course but this is as much as we have because if we go with our gradient on top here then we start blending into nothingness into a transparency here because there isn't an image part over here right so this is what you have to play with okay now to do that we just need to add a layer mask here to our top layer and now we just go using our gradient here this first one here, which is foreground to background, like so, like that, a linear gradient. We want to click, shift, and drag up to there, for example. So we've used almost all the way up to the to the top. We can hide the guides, of course, with uh, Control and H, and you can see how well that blended. If you didn't like the way that that looks, you can always undo it, and you can do a Control and H again to show your blood, your guides and uh, do it over again if you want to do it a little bit less. I think either way works quite well. We're going to leave it like that. And now you can always take the opportunity to continue to reposition your image, right? You want to make sure that you're not moving your image um, further up because you might have used all that space, but you can move your image further down if you like. So if you want, you can hold down shift and move your image down. Uh, and I think we're just going to keep the image to about here and now you can crop your image so we can use our crop tool and crop the image to where you find most appropriate I think something like that would work quite well as sort of like a movie poster so we're gonna double click in it here to do the uh, crop and now we need to just do a couple of things we're gonna go into our adjustment layers here and add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and we're gonna do that by uh, using colorize to make everything one color and then we're going to change our hue here and probably our saturation as well so we have sort of like a nice warm and uh, a powerful sort of like a yellow orange color to it 
and so we're going to go with 33 and 57 on the colorize and click OK. So let's see how our image is looking right now. OK, I'm liking the look of this. We are essentially getting here a nice movie poster type of thing. And the only thing you want to do is perhaps um, title it, you know, give it a title for like the movie or something like that. So we're going to use our um, type tool here, make sure that we are on the top of our layer here. Uh, and uh, use a nice uh, type here that looks uh, somewhat nice and fancy. So I have, for example, here become script pro on my machine. You might have some other type of script fonts that you might want to use. This is the one here that I'm going to use. Um, set a fairly large, well, actually not that large uh, font size here. Depends on the image size, of course. And you want to give it a title. So let's. These are the Smiths, for example. Okay. We're going to resize this by just doing a control and T and resizing that text there, making sure that it fits. And of course, we probably want to uh, have this in white. So we're going to double click, change the font color here to white. There we are. And probably add a drop shadow to this as well. So we're going to add an effect of a drop shadow. And let's see here. We probably want a distance of zero and a quasi big size here with a nice opacity OK click OK and now we're going to just reposition the text here there we are and there is a movie poster quite nice